In this lesson, we'll be controlling maximum tilt during a multi-axis contour. After completing this lesson, you'll be able to modify toolpath cutting model and maximum tilt parameters, and use simulate to validate parameter adjustments. Let's carry on with the file from our previous example, and let's talk about controlling the maximum tilt during a multi-axis contour. The first thing that we want to do is modify our contour toolpath, and we're going to change our geometry selection to be one of the contours on the side of our part. We're going to go ahead and use this section on the left side of our part, and then we're going to say OK. This is going to recalculate our toolpath, and we'll notice that now the tool is going to be tilting on the side of our part. Let's go ahead and simulate this and take a look at what it does. So notice now that we're actually moving in multiple axes at the same time, you can see that not only is it tilting for the lead and the side tilt, but it's also moving around that contour, wrapping around the sides of the part. And you'll notice that the tool goes all the way down, and we have a lot of collisions here that we're dealing with, but we'll handle that stuff in just a few minutes. What we want to focus on, though, is how we can control the tilt of the tool and limit it to a certain amount. We might want to do this because of a restriction in the machine we're using or some other methodology that we want to follow. But the first thing that we want to do is notice that the minimum is set to 0 and the max is 180. So I'm going to change this to 90, which should keep the tool from going past 90 degrees. So let's go ahead and simulate the new toolpath and take a look. So as we're dragging this around, you'll notice that the tool is still rotating past 90 degrees. The reason it's going past 90 is if we take a look at our settings, we have our cutting mode set to trim impossible. What we want to do is have it either fail or turn when impossible. So if we say OK and have it recalculate this one more time, let's go ahead and take a look at the simulation now. Since we've changed the cutting mode to be either fail or turn when impossible, you'll notice that no longer does the tool extend past that 90 degrees and still cut the edge anyway. So now it only goes as far as it can with 90 degrees, which is just past the center, and then it pulls away and it finishes the cut. So when we're working inside of these multi-axis contour toolpaths, we need to make sure that we understand what these values mean and the fact that some of these settings are dependent upon other things such as the cutting mode. Let's increase this maximum tilt to a value of 120 degrees, and then let's say OK and allow it to recalculate so we can simulate. Now as we play through this, it can go past that 90 degrees all the way down to 120 degrees, which allows us to get all the way around the part without extending to 180 degrees. Let's hop back into our settings and take a look at some other things. Once we get past the minimum and maximum tilt, we have a few other values. We have segment length, maximum tool axis sweep, and fan distance. These parameters are going to control some of the maximum values that can be programmed into a single line of NC code. So adjusting these parameters can do things like change the number of segments that are in the line and change the overall size of the toolpath itself. We're not going to be too worried about these for this example, but I just want to mention there are a couple more of these settings, and if you hover the cursor over, again, it'll give you a little bit more information. We're not quite done here. We have a few other things that we want to talk about. But again, I want to make sure that we're covering each of these options individually, because they can be very hard, especially when you jump right in and you're dealing with a multi-axis part, to really understand what each of these is doing. As a quick refresher, let's go ahead and take one more look at our passes. So far we've talked about the cutting mode. The cutting mode is set to trim when possible by default, but we've changed this to turn when impossible to allow us more control for the minimum and maximum tool angles. We've also looked at the compensation direction, which allows us to go left, right, or center. We've looked at the axial offset, which works when we're dealing with left and right compensation. We've added some pass overlap. We've looked at the forward and sideways tilt and the min and max tilt values. The next thing that we're going to talk about is how to handle collisions when you're dealing with these multi-axis toolpaths. 
But for right now, let's make sure that we save our file before we move on to that next step.